In this video, I'm covering three simple steps that you can follow as a tech or B2B sales rep to write a successful cold call script, whether you're calling into big companies, small companies, whether you're calling into finance departments, HR, supply chain, whether it's executives or end users. This is a proven framework that has worked for hundreds of reps that I've taught it to. I've been in enterprise software sales for over six years. I spent two of those as an SDR manager teaching the 3W formula to make cold calling simple and consistently found it to not only improve results, but improve results quickly. So in this video, I'm gonna be dramatically simplifying the cold call process for you and teaching you the three W formula so that you can implement it in your own role so let's get into it. But first, if you're someone looking to break into tech sales or an SDR looking to ramp up into role as quickly as possible, check out the links in the description below. Our course communities have literally helped hundreds of people land the tech sales jobs that they want and then ramp up within weeks rather than months. So when you join, send me a message and hope to see you in there. But with that, Let's actually get into the video. So the three W formula involves answering three questions for the prospect within 30 seconds of the cold call. These are the three seconds that whether they realize it or not, they are subconsciously wondering they're in their head when you call them, they answer, they realize this was not a call I was expecting. I don't know this person. I'm busy in the middle of my work day. You need to answer three key questions to get them to drop their defensive guard. And those questions are who you are, why you're calling and what you want. And that sounds simple and it is, but I wanna break down each of these pieces and why they're so effective so you can actually implement it yourself. This is designed to help you be targeted at scale because if you can answer these three questions, you can rip down a list that has as many similar characteristics or as, hom as homogenous as possible because there's two key factors to becoming an effective cold caller that most people don't realize. The first and the obvious one is actually becoming effective on the phone when the prospect says hello, but the other key is how fast you're able to do that. You could be the best SDR on the phone, but if it takes you an hour to get ready for a cold call, you're just statistically not gonna give yourself enough shots on net to actually book the most meetings. The best SDRs are the ones who, who can become effective enough but do it targeted at scale, do it fast, so they can make 100 calls in the same time it takes that other rep to make 10. And to do this, you have to keep things simple. That's why there's three questions to answer and not five or seven or some long drawn out process where if the prospect says this, you do that. If they respond this, you point them in this direction. It's taking control and answering these three questions. And while it can be effective longer term to expand beyond simplicity and add a little bit more complexity to your cold call process, an analogy I use is take someone new to the gym. They're trying to get in shape for the first time in their life. Technically, the best workout routine might be some seven day split where they work out one body part in the morning, they do arms in the morning and then legs in the afternoon and they follow some super complex nutritional routine where they carb load, I don't know, there's all this complex stuff out there. That might on paper be the best, but the real best routine for them is likely going to be something simple. Maybe three compound movements a few times a week. They learn bench press, squats, and deadlifts, and they do that two to three days a week. The reason it's better is because it's much easier to implement, simple, and they'll actually be more likely to stick to it. And then over time, they can start to add and branch out and add some more complexity to their routine. Same thing in cold calling. So with that, let's get into the first question that you need to answer on every cold call when the prospect says hello, and that's who you are. In keeping with the theme of simplicity, the who you are should really just be one sentence. You don't need to get too fancy. It should really just be a line telling them you're part of the account team or just the team. You can leave that account. I'm part of the team or account team that supports X company, the one you're calling regarding XYZ. So XYZ could be the applications you sell. Maybe you sell planning, budgeting, and forecasting applications. Or maybe you just name processes regarding HR and payroll processes. But the key is simplicity and find something that's repeatable that you can use over and over again. The way you can make it more targeted is through your word choice. And this is why I preach making lists 
that are as homogenous as possible. So let's take line of business, for example. If you have a huge list of prospects, either at the same company, or they can even be different companies that all work in finance, then you can use words, I'm part of the finance team, or I'm part of the financial applications team that supports X company regarding XYZ finance processes. If you're calling now someone in HR, maybe your company sells to multiple different departments. Maybe it's marketing or sales. Let's use HR. Instead of saying finance team, I'm part of the HR applications team that supports X company regarding recruiting, talent management, and payroll processes. And you ideally want to keep the words broad so that those could apply to anyone that works in finance or anyone that works in HR. As you get deeper into the year and you have the time, you can start to create even more targeted who you are lines for each individual ICP. So like VPs of finance versus VPs of FP&A versus controllers. All of those work in finance. They have slightly different priorities they're in charge of. Another way to be slightly more targeted is if you bucket them by industry that they work in. Again, this might take a little extra work and isn't totally necessary right out of the gate, but if you have a list of people that work in finance in the retail industry and they're all retail customers and retail personas, you can say you're part of the strategic retail team, or you could just say I'm part of the retail team at X company that supports you regarding XYZ processes. But find just that one line that's repeatable that you can kick off every value statement every time a prospect says hello and you don't need to overthink it. The next key question, and this is the most important part of the 3W formula, you have to tell them why you're calling. And the why you're calling is really answering two questions as succinctly as you can, and that's what priorities or challenges do you solve and how do you solve them? It's simple enough, and it should only be about two sentences. And again, we want it to be simple and repeatable so that we can be targeted at scale through those lists that all have similar characteristics. I'll link to a video where I go more in depth on this, but a simple example, taking the finance example, after you tell them that you support them regarding back office financial applications, you then tell them that you work on priorities. Again, you can be even in the industry. We work on priorities in the retail industry related to strategic planning, budgeting, forecasting. And we usually do this by consolidating the amount of tools that you're using for these processes and getting your team off Excel. And that's a generic example, but you want to even think about the titles of the people that you're calling and their seniority, because a lot of them can be bucketed into two categories. They're either executives like VP or even director and above, or they're end users of the system. So in finance, for example, those executives, it could be the CFO or the VP of finance, where the end users are more like financial analysts. And you wanna plug and play words that target executives versus end users. End users are usually thinking more about tactical pains, like pains about their actual physical day-to-day -day job that you can call out that will resonate with them, where executives are usually more concerned with higher level strategic business pains. And a lot of these you can rinse and repeat no matter what line of business they're in or what industry that they work in. So total, we've answered who we are and why we're calling in about three sentences up to this point. We're probably like 20 seconds into the cold call. The final question that you need to answer, and so many SDRs leave this out, but I wanna drill it into your head and train you that you need to ask this earlier on in the cold call rather than later, before you start asking and peppering them with a bunch of questions, you need to tell them what you want, which is 99% of the time is time on their calendar. I see so many SDRs hesitant and afraid to actually state their intent, but the prospect won't feel comfortable or even understand what the call is about until you tell them this. So I say you need to go for the kill, state your intent, and this is what gives you a shot on net. And what I mean by that is you don't actually have a probability or a chance of booking the meeting unless you state your intent and ask for time on their calendar. You could have a call that goes great, five, 10 minutes, and I see it all the time, and you're asking them a bunch of questions, and they're engaging, but then they slowly get a little bit of a defensive tone, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, they're like, you know what, I gotta run into a meeting, send me an email. Or they think in their head, why would I meet with this person if I just talked to them for 10 minutes? Wouldn't this just qualify as the meeting? And the way I've always done this is after I said who I am, I told them what priorities I solved, how I solved them, I usually just go right into saying, and I know I kind of called you out of the blue here, so I'm more just looking to set aside some time to get introduced and aligned with your priorities going forward. How's your calendar look next week on Wednesday or Thursday? You have that downward inflection, give them actual options, and now you've just given yourself a probability of booking the meeting. In the end, cold calling and cold emailing for that matter, but that's a different video, is a probability-based game. 
Every time you ask for time on their calendar and state what you want, there's a non-zero probability that you will book a meeting. So the more people you're able to call at a high quality as fast as possible and you tell them who you are, why you're calling, and what you want, that's the 3W formula, you have now given yourself some form of probability of booking the meeting. Now the more times you do this, the more you learn to get more targeted, the better you get at plugging in keywords that target those personas of the list you built, that probability gets higher and higher. But your probability of booking the meeting could be 99%. But if you only make a few dials a week, then you're not gonna book that many meetings. I'd rather have a slightly lower probability, but be able to get out more calls and be more targeted at scale because your expected value in terms of probability of booking the meetings will be much higher. So who, why, what, it sounds simple and maybe even too good to be true, but my only ask is don't knock it till you try it because I get messages almost daily, people reaching out saying that this immediately helped them start booking more meetings. So hope this helped. If it did and you wanna book a call with me, there's a link in the description below where I actually will personally coach you on creating your own value statements using the 3W formula. Let me know if you have any questions, but otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.